Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel where it's my opinion or no opinion at all. Scott Alicious McFabulous here and I hope that you are feeling Percy. Give me my time. Give me, give me my time. And today we are going to be looking through my personal rogue bag collection from coach five of which were purchased in the last two months and you might be thinking what in the hell fits in this tiny ass little rogue bag let's find out <laughs> But before we hop into my Coach Rogue Bag Collection video, if you guys love handbags, hauls, luxury, coach, the whole lot of those, please hit the subscribe button if you are new. And if you guys enjoy today's content, make sure you hit that like button as it does help me know you enjoy today's video. And it helps with that pesky YouTube. Al, go. Rhythm. Now y'all know exactly what time it is. It's time to get Percy with my Coach Rogue Bag Collection. And most of which were purchased within the last two months. Probably closer to six weeks. <laughs> I went a little crazy with the Coach Reserve uh, bags, if you will. They added like almost every rogue style to the reserve in Canada. So I decided to stock up. Let's just say that. And one of the bags might actually be my all time favorite bag, period. So for the first rogue bag in my Coach Rogue collection, we are going to be taking a quick look at the Coach Rogue 12 in signature textile jacquard. This thing is tiny. And yes, I removed my leather stickers from my Coach A Vintage bag and put them on here. They're still sticking. And I think it actually looks really, 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 really cute on here and I don't think they're going anywhere on this and then I also added the uh mini beat chain to it I actually really do love this this is probably my most used rogue bag because I carry specific items in it and I tend to carry it around with me like almost everywhere I go so this is definitely a good piece for me personally but you're probably wondering Scott what the hell do you put in that what the hell are you carrying around in this tiny rogue 12 well let me show you because <laughs> this bag is perfect for carrying around my in-use tamagotchis so i got my tamagotchi uni and i got my tamagotchi sums hiding away within my rogue bag <laughs> it actually perfectly fits all three nicely lined up without damaging perfect absolutely perfect and with like the cute little stickers it is just a complete vibe mama i really like it especially as the tamagotchi carrying case <laughs> Next up for my Coach Rogue bag collection goes to my only thrifted Rogue bag in this collection. It is the Coach Rogue tote bag with Trump Lowell print. I thrifted this for like $60 and it is in nearly perfect condition. Uh, still could probably use a wash on the canvas, but other than that, this bag is super, super 
super cute and I really like it. I love the canvas. I love the print. I love the effect. It is really cool. And it, the fact that I only had to pay like literally like a fraction of the price went mama, yes. And thankfully it does come with its additional shoulder bag straps. And I actually like to use these um, like throughout a couple other bags in this video. So I'll show you near the end what I technically use my black rogue straps for with like the yellow and bronzed hardware. So this is a pretty nice piece if you ask me and I've definitely gotten some good use out of it perfect for summer especially the coming months so this is going to get some use for sure after the coach rogue 12 and the trump lowell print rogue tote let's move on to the next rogue which is one of my latest pieces, the Zebra Rogue 20. The Coach Rogue 20 in Zebra Hair Calf. I love this piece too. And like, just because of the hair calf and the leather used, it smells so delicious. Like this is a really nice smelling leather bag. And I'm really, really happy I was able to actually add it to my collection you know before they completely sold out and like vanished i got her i got her and i could not be happier with her she just is so cute so edgy so different and like the hair calf used is just very luxurious it is very nice the rogue 20 size itself is a fair size. I do prefer the 25 compared to the 20, but I do think the 20 is a, a good size as well. I'm absolutely obsessed with animal prints, so of course I had to grab a rogue in the zebra. I really had to. And then on top of that, getting her for 60% off plus 20% off, I was taking her home no matter what. Oh, she's taking it. But after, after the Rogue 20, we move on to the Coach Rogue with the Tom Wesselman lipstick print. I am obsessed with this bag. I really, really love it. It is just so elegant and classy looking and just edgy at the same time. I'm not too much of a fan of the ivory color itself, but with the whole thing, it is makes for an immaculate handbag. I am absolutely obsessed. The gloved hand leather feels great. The print is amazingly nice. I love the metallic lipsticks. I love the metallic finishes to it. The glitter finishes. All of it is just an absolute yes. An absolute chef's kiss for me personally. The Coach Tom Wesselman collection uh, surprisingly didn't do that well for the Rogue bags, which was very shocking to me because they're not bad. I know it took a while for them to grow on me, but like the fact that they went 75% off at my local outlet store and like they did not sell out is a crime against humanity because these bags are absolutely freaking gorgeous. Yes, I got this one for 70% off, which, oh, absolutely, absolutely an absolute steal. <laughs> will be a really nice for spring and summer this year. I love her. I'm back, motherfucker! Next up in my Coach Rogue Bag collection, we got my latest Rogue Bag to, you know, come in the market. But she's also my biggest. She is my biggest and sits in her pretty big dust bag. It is my one and only rogue bag with a leopard hair calf print. Smells just as good. It feels just as luxurious as the zebra print. So, like, literally, the fact that I have both. The fact that I have both. Mama. Yes. Abba so fucking Lily. I'm so happy I have these. Like, uh, I got 
good use out of both. I think I used this one a couple more times, but it is just like, oh my goodness, these bags are just so freaking luxurious and gorgeous. Like, I really could just sit here and ush and gush about these robe bags for a very long time. I'm obsessed with the hair calf and everything. Like, it is just so classy looking and... Oh, the luxury the luxury to hold this it just makes me so glad because girl i almost missed out on the leopard hair calf and i literally would have cried if i did <laughs> i almost missed out this was like the second last bag on the website and i was like i have to take that i have to take it <laughs> i missed on the leopard bandit stupidly stupidly i missed out on that so i'm just really glad that it worked out in the end, and in all honesty, I like this a lot better than I would have the Bandit with Leopard Hair Calf. And so that finally leaves us to my final Coach Rogue bag in my six bag Rogue collection. It's also my favorite handbag in my entire collection, hands down, period. It goes to the one, the only Rogue 25 with the Lunar New Year Dragon print, the boxed Lunar New Year Rogue 25. I am just so goddamn obsessed with this bag. Like, this is my favorite handbag, hands down. I love the dragon, the detailing on the dragon. The bag itself is probably, in my opinion, the highest quality rogue bag that Coach has probably ever done. In my opinion. Like, I could be a little wrong with that, but, like, with the one sitting in front of me here, bar none, this is the best quality. I don't know why they decided to go balls to the wall with quality in the Lunar New Year Rogue 25, but they did. I don't know why. And then right after, they completely changed the Rogue bag. So I'm really happy that they stuck to the classic Rogue bag and really sent it out with an absolute bang because this is hands down the best stitched like, I swear to you, I do not see a single stitching error anywhere on this bag. And that within itself is really impressive because most coach bags nowadays definitely have some sewing issues here and there. But this looks like it was crafted with the utmost care and like importance and everything. And it really, really shows. The quality of the leather shows, the quality that was put into the bag while being sewn, it shows. Everything in this bag shows and it is show stopping. This is my favorite bag. This is my favorite bag and always will be. Uh, sorry, Miss Eleanor Satchel. I apologize, but we got a new girl. We got a new girl taking the crown. And it's the Rogue 25 with Lunar New Year Dragon Print. Which brings me, I also like to take the Trump Lowell tote bag. I like to take the straps to that and actually add them onto the Rogue 25 Dragon. Because I think it actually adds more of a, a versatility to the rogue bag itself like with the normal handle color like it's fine but this one just adds a bit more of an edgy look you know what i mean so i can add it to like a more black look rather than having a pop of camely pink across my my shoulders or something you know what i mean so i have gotten lots of use out of this this is my second most used rogue bag and, uh, girl, she's holding up incredibly well. And, oh, girl, I'm going to take care of her for as long as I humanly can. But you know what else I'm also going to take care of quickly is my outfit of the day and kitty licious moment of the day. Don't believe in you.
but all you need is just for one person to believe. There can be a hundred people, a hundred people, a hundred people, a hundred, hundred, hundred people, a 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 hundred, 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 or a thousand, nine thousand, or nine hundred ninety nine. There can be a hundred people in the room, in the room, in the room, and nine. Alrighty, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed today's Coach Row collection and video. Five purchased in the last two months, probably six weeks. Yikes. Um, all worth it though. All got for good prices, and then the one thrifted rogue tote bag. Love everything here. My favorite bag, the rag the dragon tote, sorry, and you know, I'm really happy I got into the rogue bag as I did because girl stunning pieces but what are your thoughts and opinions on my rogue collection and without further ado if you guys did enjoy today's video please hit the subscribe button if you are new hit that like button share with your friends and family comment to me any type of opinion you may or may not have had on today's outfit of the day kitty licious moment of the day or coach rogue bag collection video as well, you can always support me and the channel directly by sending me a very generous super thanks donation. And you can check out the description box below for the three lucky links to my Instagram, Facebook, and Discord notification squad. I love you all to the absolute moon and back. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye! <laughs> I think it was good. I don't, I don't. I'm done. I'm done. Oh, no. Show's <laughs> over. Show's over. See you next Taco Tuesday, bitch.